sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots, <laughs> accidentally, at a distance. I am good. We're totally all right. It just ran away when it saw us, right, Quill? Not so sure that creature thing was inoffensive, Rocket. Would you feel even a little bad for releasing it? Releasing? What are you talking about? You saw it come out of that stone, just like I did. So? What makes you think it was trapped in there? What's going on? Is Star Nuts being paranoid about dumb stuff? End of discussion. Hang on a tick. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. So, Groot, you run into any trouble getting into the rig? Good. I, I was pretty worried about you. Huh. Quill, Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here. Look at this old beauty. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe it can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafty. Yeah, there's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. How did you manage to get here, buddy? You wrote on what thing? You're telling me you just burped it over? Come on, Quill, put them pea shooters to good use, so we can squeeze in there. For useful scrap. Oh, yeah! Nailed it! <clears throat> and, uh, thanks for the upgrade. Perfectly safe, right? Uh, I don't trust your definition of safe. Uh, seems a little wobbly. You guys hang back a sec. Ah! Well, Scott! Uh, this place is crawling with ugly! Guys! down here! Gotta deal with this! Holy crap! This is the most punchable thing I've ever seen! <laughs> hey! More of those! Ah! Uh, this! Amazing. Team Rocket! Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. 
I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. What a weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird cuby hunks of rock or metal. You two have any luck? It is not a question of luck. Peter, make some noise so we can find you. Drax? Drax! Hey, you want to mute your comms if you're going to scream your lungs out? This whole place is old equipment. That does not narrow my search. Thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the nimble assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax. At least he called me nimble. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. Anyone got any bright ideas? If you're not gonna use that visor, give it to me. She covets the forbidden knowledge of your magic glasses, Peter Quill. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need.
Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Well, that's helpful. I did as our leader bid. Not all of us are so quick to disobey. Make up your mind. Are you mad I served Thanos, or that I betrayed him? Neither inspire confidence. Drax, this one's all you. Tell me where to place it. Can you move it over there? Done. Rocket? Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Maybe Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen for planet strength. Like I said, something scary. Scream. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother Hovat were two of the strongest people who ever lived. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling. Whoa! Careful! Company! Well, you got some time and we got company! Kick from the last stumper! We haven't even placed it yet! Say, it's barking scary out there, Quill. Clark Dark's on the field. Danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! Let's do this! Great! Yeah, you 
to lower my guard, assassin! We ain't such a bad team after all! Well said, Rodent! Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the thrum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last thumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind me. Excuse me? Good staging spot for the last thumper. I'll know it when I see it. Fine. Me and Groot were messing with some subsystems. I may have tripped something. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Oh. Catch our monster. Hey, that thing is fast! Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. Pay extra if it is poisonous. That's one less thing to hide behind. Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. Alright. 
enough with the warm-up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. What in hell's name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. <laughs> Place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here now. Curse these volatile ruins. Tracks, go. Hold on to your butts, people. Rocket, get the music. On it. Focus on flying, Peter. Someone play this better song. <laughs> now we're talking. Watch the ship. I'm watching. I'm watching. You ain't. Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Blue instructed. Watch it! Someone give me a hand. <laughs> Am I right? How about one upside the head? Heads up! We have debris incoming! Blow it away, Quill! Time to thread the needle! Don't even think about it! The quickest way through is through! Peter! Will you hear? Time to thread the needle! Don't even think about it! The quickest way through is through! Peter! You fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin! Don't you get go on my ship! My ship! That's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduk. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? He's so good. Group says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! From. Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Say Hal's hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter, 
Jason Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corell, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corell. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war, like... Really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship, even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide rockets crate. Peter, you're willing to gamble on a space llama thingy? I'll convince Corell the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corell. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. I am good. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it, we're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the core? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. 
You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Illegal. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be... I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith energy, no power. No power, no containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Church of... Universal... Something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just say mom? Admit it, that you just to be no, super clear on the mom thing. <laughs> you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Probably help with the door if we undo these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on. You clearly need my help. No. You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay. We're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Es Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Oh. Dandy. Okay. This way. Should we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast. Are you kidding me? Relax. You're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Don't you 
or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Got it. We're here. Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. So. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now are you gonna help me or not? Yes, easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. Look, there's the adult in the room. <laughs> yeah, adult isn't exactly how my mom described you. H how did Corel describe me? Luck. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy and judgmental? You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. This way. Any day now. Right, right, just... I'm still in charge here, you know. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could've fooled me. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no! Oh, wow! Don't laugh. No, no! This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Hey! C! 
secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. Overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Finally. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom. I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she Ew. was- Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Someone, please get me out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small, okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. Your mom deserves to know what happened. An exploding ship is a very serious thing. I didn't blow up a ship! Okay, clearly not what I meant. How was my 12-year-old daughter anywhere in the vicinity of that ship? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like... Feelings, feelings, but more like emotions. You know, because of the explosions and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. There's a lot of feelings to blow up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind.
You stole a passkey? I didn't steal it. I made it. Points for ingenuity. Disengage lockdown. Lockdown disengaged. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Ma! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 8,000 units in three cycles? Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on... I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four. Not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> uh, 
I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off.